First tip, um, I really love using the highlight updates feature in React DevTools. So you know, we've got a React app here. It's a movies application. I'm going to go over to the components panel. I've got React DevTools installed. And I just go to settings, and I can check uh, highlight updates when components render. And this just helps me identify unnecessary re-renders so that I can optimize my application's performance a little bit more. You'll see these just glowing as we're interacting with the UI. Next up, um, React DevTools now supports server components um, as of v6 and above. I heard one person excited about it. A few more. Woo. All right, so uh, server components are now visible in the DevTools components tree. They're displayed with a special server batch um, to distinguish them from client components. And this helps you just identify which parts of your app are running on the client or the server. I've been finding it really helpful. Um, if you're a Next.js developer, you're also able to now get server logging. Um, so console log works the same way as it would in the browser, but with a server tag. Um, and that just means that you're able to view server-side logs directly inside the browser console, so you can debug those server component experiences just a little bit more.